earnings season ramping up after last week's big bank results. And today we've got the action, the story, and the trade on United Airlines, Lockheed Martin, and DR Horton. Joining us for this earnings exchange, Jeff Kilberg, KKM Financial CEO, and a CNBC contributor, Jeff. Good as always to see you. Let's uh, let's talk United. Reporting after the bell had a lot of a bit of a rough go lately. Uh, shares down more than 30 percent in the past six months. Certainly not being helped by that uh, those Max Nine groundings. 79 United aircraft set to be grounded until Friday. Uh, Susquehanna highlighting the importance of airline capacity and routes as travel settles down following that reopening surge. You would sell into earnings here, Jeff? I would. If you really wanted to find with options, I think you can. But I can't own the stock going in. I own Delta, which is not doing just as well. But if you think about the impact of the MAX 9s, United Airlines, which is called the Friendly Skies, is not feeling so friendly right now because nearly 100 of their 1,000-plane fleet, about 79 of them are the MAX 9. So you wouldn't think it would be that impactful, but nearly 10% is being grounded right now. So there's so much ambiguity. The FAA continues to seem to look for more and more tests and more and more reasons. So I think the stock technically, tie, if it gets back above its 50-day moving average, which is up at $40.50, I'd be interested again. But right now, it doesn't seem like the story is over yet. Yeah. All the sectors of airlines are really taking some heat this week. I, and we're going to find out with all the earnings. But United, I have to stay away. The story story is unfavorable right now. Let's talk about one that you do like, and that's Lockheed Martin reporting before the bell tomorrow. Shares up about 3 percent over the past year. That's not much, but rising global geopolitical tensions have refocused attention on defense, as you would expect, uh, and specifically on Lockheed's F-35 aircraft. J.P. Morgan sees upside because of its uh, growth strategy and aggressive share repurchases. You are a buyer here, sir. I am a buyer. This is an essential 40 name. I've owned Lockheed Martin. I think when you talk about the election year that we are in, either side that ends up winning, I think you're going to talk about the geopolitical tensions that are continue, continue to come on a horizon. I think this is a name that's going to participate in that upside. So when you look at a competitor, Northrop Grumman, it trades a little bit uh, to a discount to Northrop. So forward earnings right here, uh, about a P ratio of 17 versus Northrop about 19. So I want to be an owner here. If you're not an owner, I think this makes sense. This is kind of a boring name type when you talk about the world we live in, owning these blue chip tangible names like a, a Lockheed Martin makes a ton of sense moving forward. Let's go to DR Horton, also out before the bell tomorrow. Home builder up 66% in the past year, but Seaport downgrading the name to neutral today, saying that future Fed cuts may have been priced in uh, during the run up. The firm also watching input cost deflation, which analysts say could be slower than expected. You lean positive on this one, or is it one to watch because of yeah. its past gains? Well, I disagree with that note. I think there's more room to run here. I think housing, there is a supply issue. But DR Horton, this is the biggest builder. They're going to put 82,000 homes out there. And they asked to hit a monstrosity of a year in 2023 when they're up 72%. But if you're a shareholder right now at all-time highs, you feel like Jason Kelsey jumping out of that box with Taylor Swift. You're so excited about what's going to happen for the rest going up to the Super Bowl. So where I think DR Horton can go is higher. I think, actually, the, the win in the sales for this could be lower interest rates. So that's a tailwind, not a headwind, and I don't think it's priced in. So I want to be a buyer here. I know it doesn't feel good buying something up 72% the year before, but if you have an opportunity on a pullback here, I think you buy this leading home builder.